What's up everybody, Dave up here and I'm going to show you how to turn this golf cart into this. If you're going to do this at home, find yourself a really flat surface. I chose this helipad here and it already comes with a golf cart. Straight up. The first thing I want to do is equip this golf cart with two sets of mace traps. And we're going to build those out just like we normally would. Try not to slam into the golf cart. I'm going to set one on the right side and I'm going to use the floor to guide me. I'm going to set one on the right side. I'm going to make sure to rotate this because we don't need this thing swinging inside of the golf cart. If you're happy with what you're looking at, let's go ahead and make those adjustments. We're going to open up the Unity Explorer by pressing the F7 key. If it's not already open, press the Explorer tab at the top. We're going to navigate over to the Sun's Story Spots, and we're going to type in World Golf. And this should bring up all the golf carts. The one we're worried about in particular, if you're starting in this location like I did, is the Golf Cart 5. And you can see it is toggling on and off by clicking this button. We want to open this up in the Inspector by clicking on it, and we can see all the properties of it in the panel here. Let's just move this out of the way for a moment. Next, we need to locate our two maze traps. I can do this by going to the Scene Explorer, changing our scene to Blank Scene, and removing World Golf. Now typically when you build something, it's going to appear at the bottom of this list and we can just scroll down to find ours. I see that we have the two that we just built and I'm going to slide this inspector back in and click on both of these individually. So as you can see right now that all of our game objects are individual entities. But we want to make it so where our maze traps are actually children of the golf cart so that when it drives, everything drives with it. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and select the golf cart, select the game object name. If it doesn't highlight for you, you can press Ctrl and A to highlight it. Go ahead and click on the first maze trap and paste it into the parent section. If you don't know how, just press Ctrl and V and it'll put that name in for you. You can also type it in if it doesn't seem to be copying and pasting for you. Do the same thing for the second one. As soon as you click off of the tab, it's going to activate the parent. If I go back and look at the golf cart, you can see that it starts to take effect and our maze traps are actually swinging with it. So let's balance this thing out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game. And I'm actually going to look for a way to disable this blur on the screen here. And I'm going to do that by going to Sun's Main, just typing in the word pause, but looking for the pause menu itself. We type it in, we press enter, and it should come up with what we're looking at now. Let's go ahead and disable the screen space canvas. And now we can take a look at a clean version of our golf cart and the screen is not moving around when we move the mouse, which is a plus. Let's go ahead and move the maze traps up just a little bit. You can see we have the position of our objects and we have these three sliders over here. And we just want to raise the height off the ground. So we're going to just control the second one here and we're actually just going to click this up a couple of times, let's say five times. Perfect. And make sure you do that to the other one. We can re-enable our pause screen by pressing this over here on the left and pressing F7 and then escape. Now we can see the golf cart looks like it is a little more balanced. The back wheels aren't hanging up in the air. I think that might be drivable as it is. But you want more than that, I'm sure you do. So let's go ahead and make us an electric fence and I'm going to show you how to get that attached to it as well. We'll go ahead and build this fence out right here in the sand. I think it has a good distance away from the vehicle that can cause some damage without actually getting hit. Next, I'm going to pull out some rocks and just stabilize this so I don't knock it over. And I'm going to add some wire. Over here on the side, I'm going to set down a solar panel and a battery. And let's run some wires. I don't know if it's necessary to run two, but why not? What can it hurt? So just like we attached the traps before, we're going to do the same thing for the battery, the solar panel, the two posts, and the sticks for the fence, and all of the wires. You can open up the menu again with F7. You can actually pause this game and toggle off the blurness. I'm going to remove pause from the search bar. I'm going to navigate back to the blank scene and go to the very bottom. I should see all these objects that I just built, and it might be spread thin as some other things are going on in the game at the same time. Let's start off with the solar panel and the electric battery. You can see that they are down here. We can move this panel over to the side, and we're going to go ahead and link those as children of the golf cart. So again, we're going to select the name, 
control C to copy, go to the solar panel and paste it in the parent location with control V, just like the electric battery. These two objects should move when the cart moves, but let's go ahead and get it in a safer location. I'm going to start by raising up the solar panel and getting that where I'd like it to be. I think a good position is going to be on top of the golf cart. And it's okay if it's not perfect, it'll drive really well no matter what. I'm going to select the battery and adjust its properties as well. I'm going to actually put the battery on the hood of the car. I think that'll be perfect. Next, we're going to move the fence post. And we can see that the post consists of two posts, which I'll select those, and one fence. Let's make those children of the golf cart as well. We can select that name, Control c and go to the first fence post and paste it, second fence post and paste it, and the fence itself, paste it. I can also adjust these and get them where I want them to be, but I think their position's pretty good as it is. I'm going to go ahead and just raise them up a little bit. So let's start with the first fence post and the second fence post. And let's go ahead and move the fence up as well. We can't forget that electrical wire and I see that we have two of them, one here and one here. One electrical wire is run to the battery. One is coiled around the wood itself and I did use three, so let me find that third electrical wire. Let's go ahead and make all three of these children of the golf cart. If you're following along, you shouldn't have to copy the name again. It should still be what the last thing you copied was. We're going to paste that in the parent section for all three wires and now we should be able to freely move those where we want to be. I typically like to take the wire and just kind of bump it forward a little bit. I can go ahead and activate these game objects just to see which ones are running to what. I'm going to take the electrical wire that actually does damage and I'm going to bump that out in front of our vehicle. That way it can give damage and not interfere with any physical objects like the sticks. Next I'm going to take these other wires I'm just going to kind of move them out of the way. Let's just move it up out of the way. I'm going to do the same thing for the second wire. Just get that out the way. So if all is well, all of this should be attached to our golf cart. I think the only thing that we can really do to improve on this would be to add some light. So let's go ahead and build a quick light. We're going to have to get our pause scene back and we can find that again in Sun's main scene. I'm going to type in pause, re-enable that, press F7 and then escape. Give it the old push test to make sure everything is holding well together. And let's do a shock test as well. Oh yeah, still working. We're going to go ahead and drop us a stick on the ground, attach a cloth, and a skull. We want to make sure we get that skull in the correct position now, so it'll save us some time later on. We're going to pause the game and open up the menu again. We're going to hit the space canvas one more time to give us a vision. I'm going to erase the search. I'm going to go back to blank scene, and I want to find that stick with the skull on it so we can get this attached to the golf cart. And it looks like it's going to be controlled by fence post 5. So I select that. Should still have our golf cart on paste, and we're going to move it where we want to. I think we'll get the best of it somewhere right in the front with a little bit of height. Kind of like a car antenna. I'm going to go ahead and get our pause scene back. Again, we're going to find that in the sun's main. Press F7, then escape. There we have it. This is our armored golf cart. Let's go ahead and get M. Let's see if we can cause a little damage.
But yeah, there you have it. If you have any issues, just leave me a comment. And I'll definitely get you on the right track. All right, I've made it back and I want to save this. I'm going to go ahead and make me a save game. I'm going to bust out a tarp, set that down, whip out a stick. And we're going to go ahead back to the main menu. Next time you save, Lidge, you're going to have to repeat the process. Your golf cart might not like the situation it's in, but go ahead and quickly pause the game, open your F7 menu, and you can find all the pieces that you use to make your golf cart. Once you open the menu, you can find a golf cart. Again, it should be searchable with World Golf, no spaces, and it should be Golf Cart 5. Open that in the inspector. Go back to the blank scene, and just make all of your current objects that you had children of the World Golf Cart. So I know we had a fence, three fence posts, two of them being for the electric fence and one for the light. We have the three wires that we used, the solar panel, the battery, and our two mace tracks. And I'm just gonna quickly set all of these as children by pasting World Golf Cart 5 in its place. And this takes seconds. Once you get used to what you're doing, this takes no time at all. And there you have it. If we click on the golf cart, we can also see all of the things we added as children on this list. So if you think you're forgetting something, you can double check here and make sure everything's in the right place. We go ahead and press F7 and escape. And there we go. It's back into one piece. Very simple, very easy to put together, still drivable. And I hope you enjoy. And again, if you have any issues, leave me a comment. I will get you on the right path. Trust me. Oh shit. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, share it with a friend. And let me know how you plan on using this. I have a Discord and would love it if you shared your pictures. Have a good day.